Oh, I'm on. I'm on. Just like that. Peacock off the flat. Look at this. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. There's lawn guys doing the lawn next to me. There's cars driving by. But we're down here in South Florida, Miami to be specific, or to be exact, uh, doing some urban fishing for peacock bass. All I'm using is a little three, not even a three, it's a little 2.75 inch swim bait. Uh, I'll talk about that. And uh, yeah, I'm just hitting all the spots I can hit and uh, trying to catch some fish. Let's get over to these canals. Sorry it's so windy. But I can't carry my uh, other setup, you know, the whole time because uh, it's just a pain in the butt. You know what I mean? Oh, 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 there's a fish. All right, that was easy. Ooh, spit the hook. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You were waiting for me. You were waiting for me, weren't you? Well, that was easy. You see that right there? That is what I'm matching today. Peacock bass, largemouth, all the fish in the waters here, they love to eat these little guys. So let me show you what I'm using. Right here. I'd say that's pretty damn close. All right, this is what I'm using today. They are 2.75 inch little soft plastic lures. So uh, I'm gonna throw them on a little jig head and uh, see if we can catch some fish today. We're just gonna go right here, straight down the middle out through the back and that's what we're working with right here i'm gonna do is just a basic cinch knot do four wraps which is good enough bring it tight spit so it locks down boom and then let me just cut off the tag right here and i think we're good to go i don't think they make these anymore but i'm using a black ops from savage gear on the cast king mg12 super super light setup like there's no weight on this thing at all uh let's see i can drop this right on the edge over here this one's a left-handed reel which i actually have grown to prefer over the right-handed reel just because I, ooh, just like that killed it and these little these little lures down here in south florida they look just like the minnows and stuff swimming in the waters down here. There we go. Right in the button. Nice way to start off the day. A little aggressive peacock bass. Let's get him back in the water. Let's go catch another one. As you can see, I just literally walked up, dropped the cast, and uh, got smacked. This is what the minnows look like that are cruising around on the surface. And when you're down here, sometimes you can see schools of peacock bass just blowing up all over the surface of the water, chasing little minnows that look just like this. I love this profile. I love the thinner profile. And yeah, it just works, you know? Miami is loaded with these canal systems. There's hundreds upon hundreds of miles of canal and shoreline to actually go fish. You just have to know when and where to fish it. And sometimes it's just a matter of using your, your nines optics or your polarized sunglasses to get around and, and spot the fish. This bridge right here is no different. Um, when you do see a bridge like this, if you're able to park, you might want to get underneath and check the pilings to see if there's any peacock bass waiting to ambush a bait. I like to just give a cast into the shadow line. You know, just run it by the first piling real quick. Something hits, something hits. If not, I'm not too worried about it because I'm going to go underneath and... Uh, bounce on these pilings let's go just watch your step though watch your step all right here we are there's two positives to fishing under a bridge one sometimes it holds fish underneath the the pilings by the post in between and two you're out of the south florida sun 
you know and people always ask dude you're in south florida why are you wearing long sleeves well it's to block those uv rays because if you're wearing short sleeves down here it's not really that much cooler if you're wearing a nice thin long sleeve shirt that's blocking the uv rays you're gonna have a better chance of not burning all right i'm just gonna drop it down here and just kind of work it up if i see something flash you know good if not i'm gonna keep it moving oh look at that that's a little guy but a hungry one nonetheless look at that come here buddy oh quick release busted your butt let me get this in here oh drop my rod in the water no no i didn't mean to drop my rod in the water oh yeah yeah now my spool's all wet oh let's see if i can still cast Guys, comment below, have you dropped your rod in the water before? Jeez. Well, there you have it. It wasn't, a, it wasn't the biggest fish in the world, but it was a fish right by the piling, like I said, you know, but I've caught five pounders here, you know? So it tells me that it's always worth checking every time I'm in the area. All right, back out from under the bridge. And uh, typically you can walk the canal banks. But if it's something set up like this and it's directly in their backyard, it's not public property. So when it's set up like this, you don't want to go into the people's backyards. You want to stay away because that's their home. You don't want to, you don't want to trespass onto their property. But there's other areas all throughout South Florida where there is a huge FPL easement that you can walk. So just be aware of your surroundings. Be aware that whether or not you're trespassing on someone's property or not, because we always want to remain respectful to the to the homeowners in the area because it's a privilege to be able to get out here and fish i saw something flash let me just cast that out let it go down near the bottom there is a lot of algae in the water that's why it has that greenish tint uh so a lot of times the fish will sit lower in the canal system because they're in the aquifer which has fresh water cycling up all the time and don't worry a big peacock bass will crush a bait this size so you don't necessarily have to have a bigger bait what the bigger baits do is they eliminate the smaller fish from hitting them sometimes sometimes it doesn't eliminate nothing all right i'm already at the next spot down here i like to call this spot hopping where i'm just bouncing from spot to spot oh that iguana just fell out of the tree but he got some busted up organs now those things are everywhere Oh, I'm on, I'm on, just like that. Peacock off the flat. Oh yeah. They fight, I like how they fight. Right off, oh, he just spit my hook. Ah, oh, gosh darn it. Destroyed my lure too. The downside to this particular lure is they're a hollow body so that they can put that little aluminum shimmer in there so they get destroyed really quick so i always buy like multiple packs of these things but if you can find one this size with a similar profile similar color that's maybe using glitter or something it'll work really really well you know i don't leave my house without my nines optics so when i put these on i can see everything in the water they are the only sunglasses polarized sunglasses on the market that block infrared so what that does is when i put these on it blocks the infrared, it reduces the heat on my eyes, and I can see, literally, I just put them on, there's a fish right there. Watch this, guys. This is a really cool fish. It's an invasive species, but they are fun to catch. A lot of people want to call them their pet fish or an aquarium fish, but we're going to catch them right now. I got my nines optics on, and I see, got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. This is an Oscar. There, look at this oh, beautiful fish. Let me take my rod off here. Let me take the hook out first. But yeah, look at that tiger Oscar. Beautiful fish. As I was talking about earlier, I saw how those houses went right up to the backyard. This one, the property line is over here and this is an FPL easement. Now, if you are on the easement, you know, don't be obnoxious and stuff. 
you know we want to respect the neighbors but you are allowed to walk here because it is not private property so uh, let's go out let's see if we can catch a fish actually i'm going to drop this right in the middle right there and let's see what happens <laughs> look at that oh that is that fish is too big for me to lift hold on let me try and do it this way no fight at all freaking tilapia on the lure see he's creeping up creeping up i got it in the grass i hope you guys can see this Ooh, I got him. I got him. Get him out. Flip him. That was a hungry peacock. Ooh, yeah. All right, buddy. Thank you for the fight.